In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to daisy chain Lenovo monitors. In this case, we are going to be connecting three separate monitors to one Lenovo laptop through a single USB-C cable and daisy chained with DisplayPort cables. The first thing you'll need is a USB-C cable. This is going to connect your laptop directly to the first monitor. This is a docking monitor that has a USB-C port directly on the back of it. If your Lenovo monitor does not have a USB-C port, then it's probably not capable of this daisy chain feature that we are about to do here. You're going to connect the other end of the USB-C cable into the side of your Lenovo laptop. In this case, I'm using a Lenovo L15 laptop. So there are two of these USB-C ports on the laptop. The back port is really designated for a charger. This is for your travel power cord, where the secondary port is more for docking. Although you might get it to work on either port, it does seem that the secondary port just seems to be more reliable when it comes to docking and uh, connecting to these monitors. So once you get that USB-C cable connected to the monitor and the laptop, we are now going to connect a display port cable to the first monitor. It's going to plug into the display port with the arrow shown on it. So you make sure you're in the right port for the first connection here. Now go to your second screen and you're going to take that same display port cable and this time it's going to plug into just the regular display port, the one without the arrow. So make sure you do that right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach a separate display port cable on the second monitor that goes from the display port with the arrow and then that goes into the third monitor on the display port without the arrow. So when this is done, you'll have a USB-C cable from the laptop to the first monitor. Then you'll have a display port from the first monitor going to the second monitor. And then you'll have another display port going from the second monitor to the third monitor. It's just important that you put these cables in the correct ports. They need to be in the display port with an arrow first to the second screen that does not have the arrow and then a second cable from the display port with the arrow to the third monitor with a display port without the arrow. You also want to make sure that the input on each monitor is on display port for this to work correctly. So if it says HDMI or USB-C then you need to change each of these screens to display port. Once everything is cabled and set correctly, you need to go into your display settings here in Windows. And you're going to scroll down to the bottom and make sure it's not set on duplicate. Make sure it is set on extend desktop to this display, or it may say extend to 1 and 2 or something similar. Once you get all of this set correctly, you should see your three different displays at the top. Make sure everything is set to extend and you have your display resolutions set as desired and it helps to use that identify button so that you can see which monitor is which and get them into the correct orientation basically getting them ordered correctly so that they flow left to right in some cases you may see that your monitors are duplicated like it shows right here so you just want to make sure that the setting is set to extend. As you can see, it says duplicate here. We're going to change this to extend desktop on one and two. So you may have to play with the settings, but just do a right click on your Windows desktop and go to display settings and you can see all of these settings for yourself.